want to next introduce uh, Jackie Lukeman, who is bringing a statement on behalf of Ajamu Baraka, who is the leader of Black Alliance for Peace. Uhuru. Uh -huh. Uhuru, everyone. My name is Jacqueline Lukman. I'm the vice chair of the coordinating committee for the Black Alliance for Peace. And I come here with a statement from Ajamu Baraka, the chair of the uh, coordinating committee of the Black Alliance for Peace. We declare that the Black Alliance for Peace condemns the federal indictments of Uhuru III and denial of their fundamental human rights to speech, association, information, and political dissent, all things that are supposed to be free to us. We're supposed to have the freedom to express right. those uh, ideals that are supposed to be grand and lofty in this country, in this bastion of democracy, the alleged shining city on the hill. But if any of that were true, why are we here? We are here because of history the history of this country in the denial of every single one of those things for people like Omali Yeshitela and the PSP and the Uhuru movement fighting for real liberation, true liberation that we have always known has been denied us in this country. So the Black Alliance for Peace understands that these people, these three comrades, these three freedom fighters were indicted by the U.S. government in April 2023 on absurd charges of being agents of a foreign government. Can someone tell me who from APAC has been arrested yeah. at this point? Charges vary. Uh, uh, but they are similar to the indictment of W.E.B. Du Bois, yes. the internationally known Black scholar and human rights defender. See, Du Bois was 81 at the time of his indictment as a supposed agent of the Soviet Union. It's always the Soviet Union, y'all. Yeah. For his anti-nuclear and pro-peace advocacy. Similarly, Omali Yeshitela is oh. 81 with an international standing as a human rights and anti-imperialist fighter for more than 60 years. The African People's Socialist Party and Uhuru movement that he helped found has been organizing and advocating at, for African people and colonized people for over 50 years in the footsteps of freedom fighters like Paul Robeson, W.E.B. Du Bois, labor organizer Ben Fletcher, and many, many others who challenged this hypocritical positioning of this country being the land of the free, unless, of course, you're fighting against capitalism, imperialism, settler colonialism, white supremacy, and US, EU, NATO, global hegemony. Ajamu Baraka, chair of the Black Alliance for Peace, states that it is only in the imagination of white supremacists that African people would need smart white people from Russia to guide our people in movement to oppose the US-EU-NATO proxy war against Russia and analyze and comment on all aspects of US foreign policies, which you know we're not supposed to do. Internationalism has always been a core principle of our movement from the Garvey, Garvey movement and anti-fascist struggles of Africans in America and in Spain in the form of the Abraham Lincoln Brigades, as well as the International Friends of Ethiopia that opposed the Italian invasion of Ethiopia to our support for the liberation movements in Cuba, Haiti, Africa, Central America, and Vietnam. So the Black Alliance for Peace stands in unwavering support of Omali Yeshitela, the APSP, the Uhuru Three, and every freedom fighter that is being targeted by this government, yeah. with this government hoping they win in this trial so they can make that road easier. But we are here to say, we are standing in your way. We will not allow you to continue this attack on our rights and our freedom. And we are in unwavering solidarity with the Uhuru three, Uhuru, no compromise, no retreat, peace. Uhuru.
Thank you, uh, Sister uh, Jacqueline Lukman of Black Alliance for Peace.